If you want to know how to make a map voting GUI in Roblox, I'm going to show you how. So, I choose a map. I'm going to choose blue. And blue wins with one vote. Loading map. And it teleports me to the map. And then, when it's over, it will destroy it. And we're back to the beginning again. And you can change your vote. And map voting in two seconds. You can change your vote. And pink wins with one vote. Loading, game time, four seconds. It teleports me to the map. And that's it, all there is to it. I'm going to show you how to make this. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into the description of this video and get my free model. Um, I'm not going to be making it from scratch. I'm, you can, I'm just going to be showing you how I made it. So the free model will be in the description below. But if you want to see me explain how I made it, then you're welcome to watch the video. So I'm, I'm going to go into my toolbox. I'm going to go into my free models. And I'm going to get it. M map voting GUI. I'm going to drag it into the game. Say OK. And here it is. Here, here are my maps. They're, they're just parts. Well, it doesn't matter. Move it over here. Um, they're, they're, they're just parts. I'm sure you'll have more elegant looking maps than this. This is just bare basic. Um, I just wanted it. I was just focusing on the voting GUI itself and the scripting. So I didn't really care about the maps the way they looked. So I just went with some parts. But you'll have some more elegant looking maps. So once you open the folder that it gives you in, in the workspace, if you don't have this tab and on the right here, you go to View, Explorer. Click Explorer and then Properties. So then you'll have both these tabs op uh, windows open. These are important windows you want to have open. So what you want to do is click on the folder, uh, ungroup that. By command U or control U, depending on what uh, computer you're using. And then you want to, you'll see that these names, they're, each of these are telling you where to place them. So if this says ungroup and replicated storage, you're going to drag this into replicated storage and ungroup it there. Drag this into workspace, it's already in workspace, so I'm just going to ungroup it. Drag this into service script service, ungroup it. Drag this into storage UI ungroup it and the whole thing works now that's all you got to do of course you'll want to change some things like the maps that I that are already in the in the free model you want to delete all these maps and make your own and all you got to do to do that is you know it's very simple just make your map if you have a map just delete all these maps that I gave you and and put your map in this maps folder and put it in replicated the whole folder in replicated storage. So put your map in replicated in this folder in replicated storage. Oh, and I should note that each of these maps has spawn points. So make sure your map has a spawn a, a model inside of it. See how this blue one, for instance, has a model called spawns. This is where the player will spawn. So have a model with spawn called spawns and each part is the spawn inside of it I made each part transparent and can collide false so you can walk through it so yeah that's how you do that so make sure you have spawn a model in, inside your map and it has to be directly inside because that's the way the script works don't put it inside another model inside the man inside the map model has to be directly inside of it. Oh, and, and here's another thing too. This map image. Um, I just screenshotted all the pictures of the maps. You can take screenshots and you can edit it in Photoshop or whatnot. I just took screenshots of my maps and I, and I pasted it into this image label inside this model. So if you go to image, you'll see I have an image right here. 
and that's the image that it will show. So you want to change the images as well. You want to make insert an image la label into the in the in the map model. Call it map image and change the image property to your image. So you'll have to get the image. You'll have to take a screenshot, edit it in Photoshop or whatever uh, platform you, you use. And yeah, that will be how you do that. So I'm going to put this back in replicated storage. I'm going to show you the map GUI itself. Very simple. Um, has a few scripts in it. There's just three uh, map image buttons with some uh, UI aspect ratio constraint, a UI corner, and a UI stroke. So the corner gives it its uh, the corner, the the corner shape. The stroke gives it this outline. When you click on it, it it, high, it outlines the, the the one you clicked on green. And the UI aspect ratio just makes sure it fits well inside the frame according to everyone's uh the depending on it doesn't matter what device you're on it will perfectly be sized and yeah and there's also a map name where well, that will be the map name and the map votes that will show you how many votes there are and the yeah, aspect ratio in there i'm not going to explain all of it but some of it you don't really need to know you can explore it yourself This script, this setup script, just sets the images, basically, once you receive the information from the server script, which I'm going to show you right now. So this script is pretty fucking long. Um, it's, uh, it's 153 lines. So... All you, all you got to do is scroll down and change these values here. So this is the starting time when you first join the game. This is the first time that will run. So it will be 10 seconds and then you'll be able to vote. So you can change it to 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 25 seconds, whatever you want. And then here you can just change the map voting time to whatever, like 15 seconds long or something. I just have it short for three right now. And then this is the actual game time, so that you can change the length of the game if you wanted to right here. I just have it at five seconds. So this function loads the map, just takes a Clones it, clones the map, and and teleports the player to it. And this function up here calculates the votes, so it make it, it gets the highest value. Map dot max is a is a built-in function in Roblox, a built-in method, and you're able to put in as uh, as many values as you like, and it, it will re return the hot the the highest number, the highest value within this parentheses. That's what math.max does. It returns the maximum value. And that's what we want. We want the most votes. And we're checking if the value map.1.value is equal to highest vote count. Then we're inserting it into this table here. But yeah, I'm not going to explain everything, so. And here we're just adding the votes and subtracting them. Adding them to a table. We're subtracting their vote when they change it. And we're adding it to the new one. To the one that clicked. Um, that's basically it. I'm going to make this invisible. One other thing I want to show you is the status GUI. Very simple. 
Um, it's just, you can, it's just a screen GUI with the text label in it. You can put this anywhere on your screen. I just have it on the bottom. It just shows you the text. It shows you the text of the the map voting in, in, in blank seconds, basically. It, sh it tells you which map has been selected, basically. So, yeah. And you'll need, to, and just if one, if you, once you download my free model, you'll have all this already, so you don't have to worry about anything. So voting, this voting value checks if you're currently, if the if the game is currently under the voting map uh, portion of the of the script. And the status is basically the status, the, the this when you, the status being this right here. This this text at the bottom is the status. And there's like five remote events. You can leave all of that. These map votes. These are the int values that that take in the votes. And this map holder it just holds the maps that are selected, because the maps are randomly selected for the map voting. So that's cool. So you don't. And the more maps you have, the better it works because it'll be more random. So there's three maps that are randomly selected, and then the one with the highest votes wins. All right, well, I think that's everything. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the free model. Hit the like and subscribe if you're new. Comment if this helped you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.